a crossbone move for one final day in your quest to find a feather. Thankfully, Baldrick has stepped up to be the scout the party needed when they <laughs> needed him most. And you all were successful. Congratulations. I find things. Hmm? Oh, no. You survived a harrowing battle against the head enforcer. And made your way to the top of the mountain for the end of the preliminaries. Where you received a fancy fan for all your troubles. And all of its you charges helped. were promptly used. <laughs> Did you use them? <laughs> yeah, with Wall of Fire. No, I, I think the Wall of Fire, wall of fire is all, only four. It's four out of That's four. four. Yeah. It only is, has four. Is, is it four out of four? Yeah. I thought Did it was you guys seven. use Wall of Fire? Yeah, yeah yes. I use Wall of Fire to block off the... Uh, the, the baddies. That betrayers. To get into the the baddies. Mm-hmm. The ones Wait, who separated. used it? Uh, I uh, did. Baldrick, because it was Baldrick. identified. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm a spellcaster now. Baldrick That's... says, come forth, fire! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Baldrick returning to Fandolin just to dunk on someone. <laughs> hey, somebody get Uriel over here, quick. <laughs> 80-year-old crotchety Ur Uriel. Check this out. Oh, wait, that's the wrong chat. Shit. I gotta move these posts. There would be Phoenix. There we go. Mm -hmm. Sorry to derail. Fog Just a, so fog Cloud is fire. one charge. Scorching Ray is two charges. Wall of Fire is four charges. Okay. Got it. Yeah, and you can use it beyond that, but for... yeah, yeah, you you can use your reaction if a creature is within within sixty feet to cast a feather fall with one charge. Yeah, and then the, there's a percent chance of the item destroying itself based on how many charges beyond its four that you use. Right, twenty percent beyond every uh, beyond its charge threshold. For every level used beyond its threshold. Okay, so just don't, just don't use it now, lol. At twenty percent. Just don't roll a seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, or twenty. Oh my god. Okay, so you are entering into the Ruby Palace. Uh, this did not exist when you all first arrived on the island. <laughs> How Jin summoned it into existence. It's like, you know, probably like Mordenkainen's. Magnificent mansion on fucking steroids or something. <laughs> no, no, no. It's uh, it's it's holy temple. I've got that spell. The 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 twenty four hour temple. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, anybody with Arcana, make an Arcana check. Oh, I think that's me. If oh. you have history, you can roll that too. You might oh. know this information from that direction. Well, I, ain't, I ain't got any of those hit skills. <laughs> history. Let's do it. Hey, nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't have either of those either. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say Bink probably knows more of the specifics, but Valtaner, you may have read about this. Um, how Jen's parents once had a palace, and after they died, she wanted she was still traveling, but she didn't want to lose their palace, so she converted it into a portable form. And oh can move God. around the, the universe at her own will. She now <laughs> calls it the Ruby Palace. So it's her safety blanket. Mm -hmm. There are attendants and servants who have healing and repair abilities available. Healing and repair? That I'm only missing 3 HP. 
<laughs> the servants will guide you all to a large private guest room that includes several beds, a screened outdoor bathing area, and a scenic view of Bone Moo. Oh, it's that part of the adventure where you guys, <laughs> after coming in, you're covered in mud and blood and guts. You're given like a really nice apartment to hang out in. <laughs> nice. Everything you are start. free to move about the palace and meet with other qualifying teams during this time. Is there a map of the palace? No, apparently. What? I guess it's too magical for a map. Okay. Um, That's fine. How Jen, however, does forbid you all from fighting inside of the palace unless she deems it necessary. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. That makes sense. So, at this point, you are free to roam around and do anything you'd like to do before. Uh, let's see. You guys got here earlier in the day. So you guys have about three to four hours to relax, enjoy the vibe, chill with some other folks, that kind of stuff. Is there a bar? Absolutely, dude. <laughs> yeah. I would like to go hang out at the bar. Okay. Baldrick's going to head to the bar. Let me pull up a roster. Let you meet a team who's also like, nah, it's time for some drinks. Mm -hmm. It's been a rough couple days. Good. Hold on. Ooh. As I crack open this beer, JK, it's a, it's a soda. It's it's fucking noon, y'all. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, all right, Biggles, go off, huh? <laughs> no, I'm going to a hockey game later, so I'm hydrating. Uh, are there servants that will take messages to other teams if you don't want to go bug them? Uh, that could be arranged, of course. Uh, Bink would like to have a note sent to Tino's toughest. Okay. Because they were admitted and everything right when after it happened. So Oh yeah. What do you want this message to say? In the chat. We'll see you on the we'll see you on the fucking battlefield. <laughs> yes, I do not say so. <laughs> P.S. See you around, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just writes out a raspberry in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just P B B B B B B B B T. Uh, and then Bing signed a dude. Go, uh, <laughs> Hang on, go second. sit in the. Uh, the... <laughs> what did you want your message to say, Bing? Is it a uh, request or anything? Chat. No, just a uh, note to Tino's time. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on though. different. I'm oh, on bad. different screens. You have to specify which chat. My bad. It's Drew. in Fantasy Grounds chat. Congratulations <laughs> on securing your entrance into the tournament. Just, just this cordial. Are you gonna draw a little heart no. behind the as a period? No, maybe, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe the period actually, if you look closely, looks like a sun. <laughs> Aduna sends a message along. <laughs> Baltric sends a message along. <laughs> I, get, I get swarmed. As there is a very note. there is a a servant who is like this is clearly well beyond the, the pale of what I expected to be dealing with today. But he seems like a good sport. He seems a little oh. young. <laughs> oh, I will become big and wrestle them on the head, and then become small. You might not want to use that feature. You got things to do later today. No, it's fine. We've got multiple of them. Oh, God. That's what I thought about rages. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I got four. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just pull him down as he's, as he's writing these notes and pat him on the head and say thank you. Make a charisma check and do it. <laughs> so. Oh, God. Um, my charisma. Ah, nice. Takes it very good naturedly. Yes. <laughs> One of the first people you've interacted with who isn't instantly terrified of it. <laughs> he hasn't seen her fight yet. <laughs> you 
you'll note that Baldrick sitting at the bar is actually not yeah inside of the bar you run into Winter's Roar. Oh, who is they're a Winter's team Roar? from the Frosty Wilderness in the lands of the Lenorn Kings. Ooh. This is Galarian lore. Mm. They are a team of led by a half orc gentleman who's probably a barbarian. They said Viking on here. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a barbarian. There is a male halfling, which appears to be some sort of spellcaster type. Something between a witch and a druid, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to make oh, like, this, a creepy this is, druid this for him, I guess. This is the party that, that knocked that combatant out. <laughs> Got it. No, sure. that's uh. No, that was the. That was the light keepers. Oh, the light keepers. Oh, okay, okay. I conflated the two. He's a halfling. Oh my god, it's gonna be fun running a halfling through it. Maybe we'll see. Uh, there's also a female human shield maiden with them, who's got an enormous shield on her back. Ooh. And then there's also trough. Frost Knuckles, a hobgoblin brawler. Oh, oh my God! I like this. Yay. Yay. They have a fifth member because everybody has to have a fifth member to accommodate your party. But I have not spent the time figuring out who the fifth member of all these parties is yet. Mm -hmm. So they're resting somewhere. Yeah, they're just... <laughs> dramatic reveal later. Don't you worry. The mysterious. <laughs> There's actually a room just full of fifth members of each party, and they're just <laughs> chilling, saying, eh, we can't meet the main party yet. As you come in, <clears throat> they look at you and they raise their glasses to you, and, they go, and the their leader, let's see, he is... You notice when he moves, you've been around, you spent the last, like, 10, 20 years or so getting used to being around other Goliaths and the sort of, like, tribal nature of their behavior. You can see immediately the way all the other members of their team shift themselves slightly whenever their leader moves. This guy clearly commands immense respect from these folks. Oh, we have art for him! Mm -hmm. Hey! I desire such respect. Biggles is about to get horny for a man. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see. Ernok Lostwind. It's a lot of hair. Mm. I cool said art. Biggles, not you. Like <laughs> <laughs> soften those features, beard. and Ducky would be there too. He has a beard. It's braided. Let's <laughs> Ah, the braids are mediocre. <laughs> oh, man, this guy's fucking from cool. A, We're gonna have to come coming from a, for him. The, the braids Throw comment. Head. The braids comment is coming from a dwarf. As a reminder, <laughs> are you going uh, to the bar right. with Baldrick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just watching. He stands up and he reaches out a large, meaty hand towards yours and congratulates your team on making it. I reciprocate the congratulations and offer. He is so strong. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, it's one of those things where I'm taken aback by the strength of his handshake, so then I have to instinctively squeeze harder to match. <laughs> God damn. Make a strength check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oops, I lost I my, 20. my entire character. I lost my 20. Don't feel bad. Are you still raging or something? Yeah, what the hell is that? Why do Doesn't I matter, that? you still rolled poorly. Uh, you uh, oh yeah, you are still raging. Alright, reroll. Okay. And uh, Bink, you have me targeted. <laughs> I just Fucking that. demolish him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels right. No! <laughs> <laughs> He goes to squeeze your hand and it's a little too strong and Valdrick's like, oh, it's a test? <laughs> and then Valdrick fucking crushes <laughs> this guy's hand. But you notice he doesn't wince. He doesn't show any visible sign of pain or discomfort. He gives you an approving nod. He says, mm. well, since 
the lady doesn't want anybody starting any shit around here, and seems like it's going to be a few hours before they're going to let us eat some right food. Feel like knocking a few back with the likes of Winter's Roar? Yeah, on me. <laughs> I pull up my ale bag. <laughs> no. Or no, you I, see I, the... I, still have the, I still have the thermos of. Uh, yeah, you do. Heat. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Do you see the shield maiden gives a shield. The shield maiden gives very intrigued, like her eyebrow raises <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> He's he waves over to the the bartender here. They're a, a tiefling person, mm -hmm. in a very nice outfit. Seems to be very good at what they're doing. As soon as they they reach over for them, like without even looking, their tail reaches back and snatches a couple of mugs off of the oh, wall yeah, as they begin yeah, grabbing yeah. other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Zaki instantly like what? <laughs> you can do that. Yeah. So well, of course, you're getting the winter's roar. Make a a charisma check of your choice. Um, so Aldrich is uh, ever the see, businessman, and I'm trying to uh, network. If, if I see, always. if I see Baldrick bring out like the his own like bruise and shit, I'll pull out the meat locker for some like complimentary cheeses. Some charcuterie. <laughs> All right, what that's, am I rolling? Actually, like? just any charisma check of your choice. You can okay. use any skill you want. It'll affect the way they respond to you, but it's up to you. Uh, the halfling introduces himself as uh, just Spix Ramble. He looks over and goes, do, do you all always carry around the entire kit for a potential entertainment where you when you travel? <laughs> Why do you think we're strong? You never know when you're going to be strained. <laughs> strained through banquets. Hmm. He's scratching his chin. <laughs> we have to carry that stuff. Have you ever had a holy feast? What was what it called? Heroes. Heroes, Heroes feast. feast. Heroes feast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. We have heard of the spell. It's our understanding that. The organizers of the tournament uh, do not approve of the use of said spell in the actual matches. Right, exactly why we are using these components in such a casual fashion. Hmm. <laughs> 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 gives you a, a very odd look. They don't dislike you or anything, but they're like, this guy's fucking weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Ernak, of your greatest victory over the last three days. Well, there's a team of wizards who were throwing all sorts of spells and shit at us, and then I threw a big fucking spear at one of them, and then they all fell out of the fucking sky. It was great. Oh, very reminiscent. I think we might have <laughs> fighted them after you. Well, I'm glad we softened them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> We beat a team of enforcers. Yeah, we fought a team as well. Bunch of fuckers running around, starting shit. Nah, we beat yeah. their asses pretty good too, though. And then to top it off, the, the head enforcer tried to fight us one on five, and it took a little while, but we managed to beat them down as well. I don't think I don't think we saw them. Who was the head enforcer? Oh, uh, what was her name? Kota Zakora. Oh yeah, Kota Zakora. Oh, you won! Good for you. Yeah. Here Took she's a, a Here she's a beast. Yeah, one that you can't see half the time. <laughs> but some superhero antics went a long way in that battle. Strength. Strength. We punched her. Yeah. Lots of, <laughs> lots of punching. Brute force. And the occasional well-landed spell by some of our spellcasters. Bink in the pool. What's... Ah, good so what's... I mentioned. <laughs> well, yeah, was... Where are you? Where uh, are you, by I'm the in, way, I'm Bink? In, I'm in the, the, the bath. The, the okay. Bath. <laughs> Bink's like, finally. Civilization. <laughs> He's a middle-aged man. He went to take a bath after three days out in the wilderness. <laughs> Where is so Aduna went with Baldrick to the bar for funsies. Where did uh Baltadir go during this period? Um, 
You can think about it for now. <laughs> you think about what you might want to do with him afterwards. Mm. <clears throat> so, Haldren, Skull's daughter, who is the human shield maiden, she leans over and goes, All right, so what's you guys' deal? What are you going through all this shit for? When? <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, everybody's like, it's usually the prize for some of the folks. Is there something you want? You here for glory? You here for riches? I mean, it's it's the tournament where we get to fight all the other strongest people. We're here. We're here. We're here to kick their asses. That's right. Aduna's just fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. So we have one insane person. Uh, we have one that has returned after ten years to uh, rightfully reclaim their glory in the in the tournament. Um, I myself and my friend uh, Volfnir are here for religious fervor. Um, they and... they all exchange a glance towards each other. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, we're not here for that exact. We're what? A... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and Minerva. I, I thought you were um, just about to say, hey, what do you know about dragons? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about dragons? Uh, and Minerva, actually, we don't really know why Minerva's here. She's just creepy vibes and doing her thing. <laughs> vibes, yeah. She's just here for vibes. Put it on her Instagram story or something. I don't know. She's a weird influencer. Minerva is a goth influencer. <laughs> oh, I just got the white, white, white ladies Instagram. The song is now in my head. Oh, from uh, Bo Burnham. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with a goth, goth twist. Exactly. What about you? What what brings you here? Well. All of us came together from maybe not necessarily being together with the folks we might have normally been with. And we win this tournament. We take the winnings and we head back to our homeland and we set ourselves up as Lenoran kings after slaying one. Hmm. So for glory. Glory, riches, the like. The Norms, according to the Pathfinder wiki, are a family of gigantic wingless dragons with long serpentine bodies and who live in the far northern reaches of Avistan. Despite their lack of wings, the Norms are capable of magical... F oh, this is probably supposed to be flight. Magical fight? Whoa. Magical what? fight! <laughs> we got that too. Do they that have breath time. weapons... <laughs> They're not spellcasters. They have a connection to the first world. And apparently slaying them, one of them can make you basically like respected as a king in the lands they're from. So it's what they want to do. They want to mm -hmm. get strong, get rich, and then go set up a kingdom after kicking one of these things asses. Oh, hey, there's art. I'll post this in Discord. Oh, cool. This just almost took a nap. Like a cat. Oh, a potential way. ruler from the Lenorn Kingdom, lands of the Lenorn Kings, must carry Lenorm's head through the city gate in order to secure a mandate to rule. Hmm. When you say uh, Lenorn, is that just one single beast, one that's pictured, or is it like a species slash? It is a species. There are a bunch of them because it's Pathfinder. Yeah. There's always a bunch of things. Right, right. So they're like a dragon offshoot. You got to go kick one's ass. And the quality probably uh, dictates how much you're respected when you fight a rule. Mm. Baldrick will say, "Well." If you ever need any help um, in making a transition from uh, 
warrior to um, you know ruler or he's about to kingdom. sell his consulting services. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've met the right. People. Close the deal, Baldrick. <laughs> I did that approximately 15 years ago. Interesting. You don't seem the ruler type. No, I leave that to my um, <clears throat> my underlings. I just... <laughs> Get this up to check. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll be sure to follow up on that later. <laughs> Please. Do. <laughs> Anyways, drink? Drink! Uh, you receive many compliments on the ale. Yeah. They tell you they prefer harder stuff up north. Oh. It's, it's not need, dissimilar need, from maybe... Mead and brandy. Go. <laughs> yeah. You spent some time in a cold climate. So that's kind of what they're all yeah, about. Yeah. Something to close those uh the blood vessels. Yeah, their team, you'll learn, is mostly comprised of uh outcasts who hope to make something of themselves together. Okay. Uh, make an insight check. Uh, this is general insight check on their vibe. Oh, yeah. Are they like the light keepers or whatever the fuck? They're just putting on a face. Oh, another two. You know, it's hard for you to see beyond the fact that they don't... They remind you so much of some of the Outlands folk you met while you were traveling around. Elsa Vale. And the Hobgoblin himself, who's with their group, is a brawler. You can see it in his knuckles. Um, he gives you kind of the vibe that you got from some of the Kalkar Zul if they weren't, like, worshipping Tiamat. And trying mm. to, like, murder everybody. Let's see. What is his alignment? I will watch that one with a uh, discerning eye. No, he's just forward. neutral. No, you get like a, a pretty decent vibe off these folks. They seem yeah. focused on themselves and what they want to do. Their leader guy seems like a cool dude. But the biggest thing you walk away from hanging out with them is whatever they are, they are ride or die for each other. And they are 100% loyal to Ernak. Does he hold a spell over them? Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that. But it doesn't seem like it. It seems genuine. Okay. It's kind of like the same vibe that you felt around the clan of your own people that you met. Mm. <clears throat> He's like Dom Toretto. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Family. <laughs> we don't do that to Family. <laughs> I can't believe I just heard a Dom Toretto reference mm -hmm. in D&D. Jesus Christ. Where's Briggs? <laughs> He's resting. That's the fifth member. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, Dan, is there anything you want to do? Mm, that picks up. Okay. Bank oh, is shit. resting. It's squalling out one second. You know, you just put this Ernax face on, like, the Dom Toretto, like, art uh, or pictures from the first movies, and it would fit really well. Oh, boy. Oh. Um... <laughs> uh, I don't think Volfenir is really doing much. I think he's he's taking time to to, to meditate, rest, okay. and pray. That's all right. Soul searching and stuff. All right. So an hour after sunset, you all meet in the vast 
this vast courtyard that contains several stone tables. Uh, dozens of servants run between the tables serving food and drink to all of the qualifying teams. Uh, in attendance at this dinner is Hao Jin. Uh, I'm sorry, in addition to Hao Jin is the Empress Nayan Fei. Volfonir recognizes her instantly. I'd say with your at least your previous the, the like research roles you did, you'd instantly recognize the leader of this area. She is the ruler of Goka. Uh, right away, you can tell that she and Hao Jin have developed some sort of uh, close partnership. They're speaking very casually and comfortably to each other. Okay. Uh, um, is is the ruler younger or or was this? I think we have art for her. Yeah, I was just curious. Oh, if she hey, was the ruling party ten years previously? She might not have been. She seems like she's younger. Yes, they developed a close partnership following how Jin's return from Axis two years ago. Oh, that's neat artwork. <clears throat> Ingani, who is still with you, will explain, will be surprised that the Empress is here, and she'll say, well, this is an interesting opportunity for you all. When you reach Goka, you will need to find a sponsor amongst the local nobility, and impressing the Empress now can get you all a head start on that, which you may need as foreigners. Oh. Just like, say less. <laughs> Bank, bank will thank her. And she oh. nods and she <laughs> nods and then goes back to her food. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Baldrick, don't talk to me, okay? <laughs> oh my God! Don't tr don't offer the Empress ale. <laughs> but what if she likes it? Yeah, she'll ask you because she'll know before you offer if she wants it. Oh. Also, with ruler types, they they don't ex they don't accept drinks from strangers. Like bar rules apply to them all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> Just get a nightcap. I printed I printed a promo for a product <laughs> the other day called Nightcap. It's a it's a hair scrunchie that turns into a drink shield. What the fuck. Yeah, that sounds are, useful. Those are cool. I'll post a picture. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> As you all are sitting here and chilling here and vibing and enjoying the food, uh, how do you all think you guys look after taking some time to clean up? Is there a difference visually after the last couple of days? I guess we'll start with Bink, since he took the most time to clean himself up. Uh, Bink went from travel clothing to fine clothes. Oh. Uh, some some subtle subtle greens <coughs> and uh, and browns. Nothing too fancy. Just quality uh, quality fabric. Doesn't doesn't need okay. to stand out, especially among nobility. Adira, uh, Adira will go from wearing lots and lots of armor to wearing travel clothes. <laughs> um, and I guess they'll make sure their weapons are cleaned up and all that sort of stuff. Okay, Volthanir. Uh, Volthanir uh, does have a set of fine clothes. Um. Which he uses for uh, formal occasions such as this. So he is adorned in those things. He has uh, a whole. All right, you're trained in etiquette, so you're probably super presentable. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking knight. Yeah, so yeah, he's um, he, he's presentable. He's got a holy symbol of Bahamut about his uh, uh, tastefully about his his neck. Um, 
and um, yeah, he looks um, he, he very much looks the the part of a noble, though he does seem he still still seems a bit off from. Um, he seems pensive. All right, and Baldric, last but certainly not least, <laughs> uh, Baldric has still the same boots that he wears in combat, but the kilt is uh slightly more adorned and fancy looking um around his left bicep he has the torn red scarf um that he, i've carried on me since like session four of it's like the Final red Science. brands era oh he, shit yeah, <laughs> yeah around his left bicep he has is that it, tied around like an armband like, have you been adding to it for the past 20 years no no it's just it's, it's just a straight it's reminder just, of the kids that we away. saved um <laughs> yeah it's been mended multiple and times. uh Using the shapeshifter circlet, you'll notice that his eyes oh, are. Fuck, you still have that. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I'm looking into my inventory. <laughs> Every now and then, I forget all the weird shit I let Pickles have. <laughs> yeah. uh, you'll notice that his eyes are the the uh, pupils are the shape of the uh, uh, symbol of the Morning Lord. Oh, interesting. Eventually, the Empress starts making her way around to the different tables and is trying to chat up the other teams. You can see they are also involved in some sort of complex skill challenge in their attempts to impress her. (laughs) 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 Um, Eventually, she makes her way to your table. You notice as she moves towards you that there are guards in the area who shift their positioning around and are keeping an eye on the Empress and any of you. <clears throat> These do not look like uh, guards bolded. They look like comparable PCs who could absolutely demolish anybody in this room if they had to. Okay, <laughs> her, her personal... Uh... Yeah, got it. Retinue. <clears throat> she reaches your table and she approaches and goes, uh, please, I don't think I was given your group's name. Uh, how would you like to be addressed? Uh, the t- we all huddle. Do, do we have a do we have a name? <laughs> we do, we do actually. Bing says we do have a name. Let's uh, check the campaign log. The, <laughs> What's your name? Oh the, fuck! The, <laughs> not again. The te- the tempered gauntlet. Oh right, right, right. There right. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the temper gauntlet Aduna says clearly, having <laughs> not forgotten and not being handed a piece of paper immediately <laughs> by me. <Bing. laughs> oh my god! <sighs> it's my understanding that you've traveled quite a long ways. You're from the Sword Coast. What do they call it? The Sword Coast. It seems a bit aggressive. Um, there's a lot of sword fighting over there. Always some shit popping off. Sounds stressful. You will but it seems to produce warriors. <laughs> the, As I say, it's stressful for the week. The the coastline is quite rugged and uh, does have daggers that stick out into. Ah, oh, is that why they call it that? Yes, yeah, it is a geological feature. Yeah, that's a geological... <laughs> like, nah, it's only where everybody <laughs> who fucks gets to live. <laughs> <laughs> so, some of us actually lived on the coast, just, not under. There's just one insane person in every D and D party, and Ducky's like, that'll, I'll, I'll take that bullet for the team every time. <laughs> How did your team come together? Oh. Uh, we were created uh, through mutual parties, essentially. Uh, two two of us have been in the tournament before, and uh, that's that's me and Bink. And uh, we said, well, we need people that aren't dead to be in the fight, and so we found this other group, and then we broke up. It it also happens that uh, two of our members are members of the Gauntlets. Io, a favor to the Gauntlet. 
that made mm -hmm. an easy connection for four of our five. And then our, our fifth uh, is a little bit more of a recluse, so I, I don't know why she A wanted. protectorate, if you would. <laughs> her, her reasons are hers, but she is welcome. Well, please. I haven't met such impressive members who have operating for the Order of the Gauntlet before. We've had some meetings and communications with some of the organizations from your area. Tell me of some of your adventures. Tell me the things you've been through. And now you all have six chances oh, no. to impress yeah. the Empress. You can use your skills for this. Suggested skills from Pathfinder are Athletics, deception, diplomacy, Goka lore, nature, occultism, performance, and society. Hmm. So, oh, no. what would, occult, what would occult, like, occultism fall under in 5e uh, rules? Somewhere Probably between like religion and arcana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. S spooky stuff. Or. Just mystical stuff, I guess. Because Baldrick was the only one that was there in the oh, okay. fight against T. Oh, it's a little bit more vague. It's not just like your adventures. You are generally oh, okay. trying to impress the Empress with your skills. Okay, gotcha. Okay, well, um, Baldrick, do you want to reenact uh, yeah. when you tackled their lead guard? You could tackle me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> as yeah, our show, guess... of, as our show of athletics. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we'll both. <laughs> and like, it's athletics. a tie back to because it was their lead guard. So yeah, as, yeah. as we get, I mean, maybe, maybe we get things to, to recount the story. You down the core. Yeah, we'll we'll right. enact it while Sakura. you describe it. Okay. Uh, Balder, go ahead and make your athletics check. Is that with help for me? Mm -hmm. Or am as, I just I'm just being tackled? Uh, so Here's a prize. As, as they're as they're going about trapped. doing this, Bink will say, "Oh, good. I was in maze, so I didn't actually get to see this part." <laughs> That's right. You were. <laughs> I think it's just Baldrick's okay, check. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you see, this god went invisible. There was only one way about it. I had to go superhero mode. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Three, I was like a two. Yes. <laughs> it, it is a bunch of twos. One, two, three, four twos. Uh, how do you describe the maneuver you pull in the air that yanks Zakora down? Hmm. Um, that's the part that seems to have gotten her the most she knows who Zakori is and she's curious about how you physically bested her in the air despite my lack of size compared to Zakora um, she says looking at the seven oh, and a half foot tall man oh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embellish the story by bringing up um, all of my ancestors oh and yeah they aided me. The shield maiden came out and used her shield to body check. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, the uh, great grandfather grappled her arms to uh, to wrestle her down to the ground, and so on and so forth. Make a wisdom check. Yes. When you're talking about your ancestors, as you mentioned specific ancestors, specific tattoos on your body end up giving just the almost imperceptible glow as you mention them. But anybody with Arcana notices it right away. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. That is one success for you all. How else ready. would you like to go about trying to impress the Empress? Oh, no. oh, oh, 
was I was enthralled by the story and I wasn't paying attention. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can use guidance for this. And you can use things like enhance ability, but I don't think I'm going to let you use the help action for this, just because of the sum of the construction of Pathfinder and how I've accounted for the DCs accordingly. Um. <clears throat> so, can I use performance and tell of our harrowing um, fight with the Terracotta army, the, the second hmm. night of Anbumu? Mm, if you do it in the form of a song and music that she might be interested in, I'll let you use performance. Let me go make sure that I actually have proficiency yeah. with. I do not have a musical instrument. Womp womp! Yeah, unfortunate. Um, because, yeah, it, it would be a retelling of a story. Um, I. Anybody else got anything? I'm, I'm going to rethink my uh, strategy. Uh, you, my so idea was that I threw a bigles. Oh, yeah, can you, can you like list the uh, suggested... Um... Uh, you could try to lie and embellish a story about something heroic you all have done with deception. Um, you can try and just generally present yourselves as just... Um, like people on her level, maybe with diplomacy slash persuasion. Can I um, can I talk to her about uh one of uh a a diplomatic exploit that Volthanir was um part of as part of his as part of his job as a knight. Yeah, you can do a persuasion check for that. Yeah, just um. This isn't super well formed, but I assume like at some point in time in his past, he's had to had some had some tense negotiations, um, and probably had some uh, interesting stories to tell. Um, let's. I think we're gonna go for one that was more that was more tense, um, uh, and shows how he was able to handle the tensity instead of the one that, that winds up being funny at the end. So let's try that. Let's just go with that. We didn't do very well. We tried very hard. <laughs> it can burn your inspiration here, Biggles. Oh, absolutely. Roll again, Valk. All right, here we go. Let's get the second one. Oh, that's not. I guess that's oh, That's better. That's probably. Jazzy, roll your uh, D, whatever the fuck the thing is. <laughs> Wasn't good enough. Okay, hey. you guys just get over the hump on this one. <laughs> and when the delegation walked out. And refused to return for two days. What did you do then? I knew that they wouldn't be able to st stay away. They needed they needed that shipment more than they they let on, and I could tell. Oh, and what did you all do during that two day period? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Oh, did it... we're just embellishing a story. We're just embellishing a story here. Okay. She's just we're just jumping into like the later part of an exchange. She's very engaged. You succeeded. She's just very engaged with your answer now. The, okay. the your answer has no bearing on your success. We're just sure. flavoring your success. <laughs> I stood menacingly behind Voltanir. <laughs> Arms crossed. Impressive. Okay. What other skills would you all like to try to use? Um, let's see. Could I use Arcana as like the occult and talk to the Empress about the palace that we are in? Hmm. To like intrigue her with what she knows of it, and what a new person has just, you know... No, nah, I feel like the Ruby Phoenix would have already covered that for her. Because they're friends. But would it... Like, how, I'm trying... How quickly Bink has caught on to the, the magical nature of parts of the Alice itself? Like, the... No, it's not interesting. I, I have no idea how to interact with 
these parameters for, for the, the skill check. I'm like, uh, got nothing. Yeah, you're just trying to find something that might be interesting to the ruler of uh, a foreign place you're not really from. You can keep trying at it, though. I'm not going to, like, beat you up. It's mostly, like, a flavor thing. Occultism's a little bit weird, because it doesn't... It doesn't have a, a like, a one-to-one -one 5e translation, because the suggestion they have here is a little bit odd. And also, it's clearly meant to sell a book. <laughs> I do know what you got. Uh... I gave Baldrick my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky said, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that sure. So it's oh, a like four, it's, a four, from it's a foreign X2. god, essentially. Hmm. We have what two successes so far? Yes. No, I think she's going to see your physical prowess very shortly. I think she's less curious about that. Um, Anybody with insight and anybody with history, go ahead and make a check. Insight. I'll give you all some hints on things you can do. I will make a history check. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting your ones out of the way now, Valk. Mm -hmm. um, she is mostly interested, it seems, in what you all can show about maybe knowledge about Goka and the Tian people themselves. She seems less curious about foreign stuff so much and is more interested to see what you all can show off about anything you may have gleaned while on the island or in your prior studies before heading out of here. Oh, uh, can I make an Ooh. Arcana check and tell her about the watchtowers and the spirits protect, continuing to protect against Kaiju? Yeah, I was going to say, bring up the Kaiju. I will let you make an Arcana check for that. I guidance myself? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> Here's, here is the Arcana check. <laughs> that is gonna be a miss. I tried. Hmm. What about some of the stuff that we learned from our historian guide? Um, that was in our temple with us, Amatar. Uh, does anybody have nature in this party? I do. You have nature? Yep. You can tell her about some of the plants Amatar was describing to you over dinner one night. Okay. That is a success. So you're at three of four? Okay, and lastly... Um, let's think here. Hmm. Oh, what about telling her about the uh, shrines that we discovered and how they empowered us? Hmm. I think I was kind of in line with the Arcana check. Okay. So she seems to be more interested in, like, culture in a way. Seems to be the thing. Okay. 
Um, uh, Valky, we're oh. a knight, and you had done prior research on this. You can make a history check with advantage to show that you dare, tried to do your research on um, Gokin politics before you got out of here. Oh, yeah, I would have done that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a success. That is five, four, five, four, or five. One more check. Mm, I don't have any Sorry. skills unless I have a gaming set. We could try. I could try if I have uh, so many tools. I'd ask her if she, if she <laughs> if she is familiar with Three Dragon Ante. Um, I will let you make a charisma check with proficiency, mm-hmm. since there is. A Gokin version of, we'll say there's a Gokin version of that game that you became aware of okay. ahead of time, and you can now try to display proficiency with that. Okay. It's like poker versus Texas Hold'em. All right, so Charisma Gaming Set. <laughs> Roll your guidance. Here's the guidance. All right. Mm. You just succeed. Good job. <laughs> we did it. I basically took like all of the Pathfinder DCs are like thirty-two plus. I just divided them in half. <laughs> yeah, jeez. They scale way too high. Okay, so five of six. You all earn. Oh my god, how does the calculation for this work? Da, 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 da. You earn one Empress point if you succeed at two or more checks, or two Empress points if you succeed at five or more different checks. Dun 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 dun! You have earned two points towards impressing the Empress over the course of this dinner. <laughs> Hooray! Nice Pokemon victory music. <laughs> Do I have the victory one over here? Yep. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> victory! We have victory! Okay! The Empress will spend some time moving along to other tables. You all relax as she moves along. She seemed to give you an earnest smile and a nod of approval before she moved along. And Donnie nods after, you, after she leaves and goes, Impressive. You all are a little more heady than I was expecting. <laughs> Let's see. We already did first impressions. As dinner comes to an end, how Jin stands and the silence falls over the area as people look to see what she has to say. <clears throat> she waves her hands and all of the tables you all are on, the floor shifts underneath them and moves out of the way. You all are shuffled along with it and she goes, Now, tonight will be marked by several more activities. Oh, you all can remove any damage you have. Uh, you all would have been able to take advantage of any light healing ahead of this. Uh, okay. A wound. Hooray! I am healed. Path was amazing. Rejoice. Jen and the Empress move to a marble platform overlooking the courtyard. The courtyard's layout changes to that of a fighting arena. Um. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Y'all thought this shit was over. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we, were short, we were short like 40,000 XP, of course. <laughs> That's right. I mean, in Pathfinder terms, you were earning XP for succeeding with the uh, Empress. You actually got significant in, under Pathfinder terms for earnestly engaging with the Empress. You got like 30 XP per success. <laughs> like a big fucking deal. Yeah, you got 80 XP for earning two points. Good for you. Hmm. Okay. Bro, that's all Only need 165,000 more for the next level, according to. But they have a uh, they have a different <laughs> they have yeah. a different leveling system. It's right, not as right. big. They they moved away from thousands of XP to level up in Pathfinder Two. Number go big was less important, it seems. 
Except <laughs> when you're trying skill checks. <laughs> mm. Buff, buffing and debuffing. She declares that the first act of the night's entertainment will be an exhibition against the butterfly blades. The Empress's bodyguard detail. Mm -mm. She looks about and asks for a team to volunteer to face the butterfly blades. These are the guys I mentioned. Look like badasses. I have tears! No team immediately uh, looks about to... Jump in on this. Oh, do you I, I all do, want I to? Do, I do yes. like starts to wave frantically. Uh, Bink says, <laughs> the, mm -hmm. "The tempered gauntlet would be welcome mm -hmm. to challenge them." You look over and look like the biting roses were having a, a quick conversation, and look like they were maybe going to step up. To oh, the biting roses are from a small nation of Nalmeris and Arcadia. Oh, they use occult connection to spirits and souls to enhance their martial techniques. God, these guys sound fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they have a human spiritualist, a half-elf soul archer, a weirwood harrower. There's a fucking tree person on this team? <laughs> Who else is on their team? There's only three of them? That's fine. We can 3v1 and they'll just dunk on me. What do you mean 3v1? You're not going into this. I'll sit in dodge and take all their hits until I'm dead. Oh my god, Ducky. <laughs> oh god, there's only three of them. I can change. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a fourth one if they have to face <laughs> you guys. <laughs> That's usually how I account for it. I just add one more person. Um. Probably just going to make him like an astral self monk and flavor it as spirit oh. stuff. That makes sense. Soul Archer. Archers are so fucking bad. He's going to have to be a ranger. No, well, he could be the... Mm. Isn't there a mm. Soul Knife uh, rogue? There is. Yeah, yeah. They, can, they can throw their daggers a lot, like 30 feet. Yeah, but they just throw daggers. I need. <laughs> seems like they're going to be like an archer proper. Lantondo is a weirwood harrower. I don't know what a harrow is. Artist fires arrows formed from the spiritual energy of his own soul. Oh, that's fucking awesome. This guy's <laughs> at all the markings of an edgelord. I love it. Um. Ah. What badasses. Okay, let me get out some, like, why is Sarge so mean to us stat blocks? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. These guys are actually, we're not going to call them that. I'm just going to modify their stuff. Oh, wait, I was going to use, I was going to use these guys instead. Because these guys, well, oh. it's kind of the same. Maybe like two fights that are the same, two in a row. Oh, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Just no, 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 no. I'm gonna stick with my first thought. They are called. I will say, when Sarge is in butterfly blade warrior. That's unfortunately true for you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you always settle on the more difficult of the two options. Uh, oh, I guess there's only four of you, so there's only going to be three of them this time. One. A two. No, just fuck us up. A three. Well, it's... I'm using the scaling for I know. the actual adventure. Destroy us. All right, oh. go ahead and get yourselves. Go ahead and get yourselves together. Whenever uh, I hear Ducky say "destroy us," I just picture in my head the scene in Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith when you hear Qui Gon's voice in the background go, "Anakin, no!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn it. <laughs> All right, so what are the... Is it the same as rules as we've always been doing? Is the... I guess we'll just that? be, like, inside of the 
the little symbol. That seems fun. Oh, okay. Emblem, inside the emblem? Yeah, just inside the emblem, whatever. That's a cool set, though. <laughs> I'm still in the emblem on their side of the fence. It's okay, go to the fucking opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> Uh, do does Aduna have that bit. shield? Yes. Yeah, she has a shield. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big old map. Big old map. Oh, I'm going to have to give these guys more HP. Let's just give them 20 more. Well, they're kind of roguelike. Ah, fuck it. I'll just give them that much. I'm not using the other half of their kit, so whatever. I'll let them have it. Oh, oh yeah. I have... I got a longbow, I realized I have no decks, and threw it away. <laughs> Love the energy, Ducky. <laughs> Did we get a long rest in between uh, coming in here, or no? Oh, sweetie, no. 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 I don't think so, okay. <laughs> Why would I force resources expenditure on the fight with the head enforcer if you weren't going to have to feel it later in the day? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, same, same, same rules as, um, Bono? Uh, yes, but, I mean, you all would have had the benefit of a short rest. Okay. So. Benefits of the mm. short rest, appreciated. Um, buff round, I'm going to twin both in here. And, Okay. Okay. Valfonir, are there any things you'd like to use? Oh, I also, um, my bonus action, uh, I give myself wings. Oh, that's cool. You just Forgot broke Soundscape. Sirenscape. These, uh, these people look like monks, right? Make a insight check. They definitely seem dexterous. Hmm. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Uh, okay. Um, they're kind of difficult to read. They seem like badasses, though. <laughs> Sorry, did your instance of Sirenscape crash as well? No. Mine did. Because I, re I reloaded it, and it's I'm not hearing anything. Um, but now there it is. It's just very quiet. Back to me, I guess. Uh, Aduna? Do you want I'm any going... features? Yes. I'm activating my hill rune before I get beat up. Ducky's like, mm, I've gotten my ass beat enough for these recent events that I'm like, nah. <laughs> That's, I think, all I can do. Oh, and I'll take the dodge action, I guess. Uh... Baldrick! I'll just dodge. I think... God. All right. What's the chances of them having AOE damage and punishing me heart heavily for warding bond? I don't know. But I'm gonna cast warding bond on a uh, bank. And there. So yeah. So much going on with that sound. What the hell? <laughs> Someone put their whole ass into that sound. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think that's everybody. Roll initiative. I roll initiative and throw a shield aside. Two threes. Ooh. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <Jesus. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Look at the bright side. At least he dropped three. Always oh look goodness. on the bright <laughs> side of life. <laughs> Just before you draw your terminal breath. Oh, All right. Yeah. Bink, you're thing. up first. What you got? Uh, the wall falls down? Yes. Okay. Four, five, six. Move to there, and I quicken Sunbeam at level seven, and I blast them. 
Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> it's, um... Why is it at level... Oh, right. Slots. I don't have a level six. <laughs> oh, this is what happens. <laughs> um, ah. So, for this particular one... What do oh, I need boy. To I need to... Drop this on self. Is this a be like a, a vine spell? It is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it literally is a sunbeam. It's an anime spell. Like he's literally holding <laughs> out his hand, and an an orb of sunlight appears. Oh or how do you gosh. want to flavor your spell? Uh, it's it's blue radiant light with with yellow on the edges, and I put the nice. thing. I I meant to click on self instead. Uh, I need to drop this. What are you doing, Jazzy? I need to remove Sunbeam. There we go. Um, I need to put the self one, Sunbeam on myself. There we go. And now oh, I'm going to fire a 60 long, 60 foot long beam at this group ahead of me. Oh, I should have probably put the dodge action on them. That's probably what they would have done. Here they already is... have evasion from the looks of it. <laughs> Here's the what? Card. You can see that? Yeah. Well, they're rogues, so it's whatever. <laughs> they all think. Rogues. Uh, here's the effect. And... Here's the damage roll on this one. Damage. And since I quickened it, I fired off a second time using my actual action. <laughs> sure, go for it, sorcerer. <laughs> oh my god. One palm to the other. <laughs> Let me remove the font of magic. Bink has become the sun monk. Oh my god. Here's the uh, con save against them. He read this over to me weeks ago. It does work <laughs> as described. And, uh, here's it is damage. one of the rare things that the sorcerer gets. I'm not going to take it from them. <laughs> here's the damage roll. Oh lord. Oh damn. And that's Bink's turn. I think I, uh, I used all my move without doing anything else. Look like it, yeah. So my my movement is just thirty flight. God damn. Uh, go ahead and remove enhance ability for me when you get the chance. Oh, thanks. Wouldn't have come up because, but <laughs> with your character, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get dex checks. So. Okay, butterfly warrior number one is a high enough level rogue that he can do this. Oh, I'm going for it. Oh, boy. You can't really see, and you can see there's a little bit of concern there. Mm -hmm. But, mm, I don't think they know about Warding Bond. I will operate as if they don't know about it. They just know that this stupid little wizard is being brave. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six. <sighs> Bonus action, cunning action. Oh, okay. And he will ready an attack as he pulls out his short sword. Oh, that's so low. Oh, right. I guess they account for that from the other side of the thing. Nah, I'm buffing him. <laughs> Next! Warrior number two. How beat up are you? Oh, you're pretty beat up. <laughs> They're having a bad day. One turn and they're already at heavy. Oh, I, I missed an opportunity because I quickened. I could have slapped them with one of the bad touch. <laughs> you did? I forgot. It's fine. It's <clears throat> fine. I'm so excited to... Let's see. Let me go read something on Rogue and make sure I'm not being a dick. You should just be a dick. I, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't no. move from my last position, so <laughs> three blinded At enemies. level 14... They have blind sense. 
I was worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for me, there's a range, and I can fly if I make it through this round. Okay. <laughs> Butterfly Blade Warrior number two. He's gonna stab you. Oh, he has such a low attack modifier. Why? Um, adjust that real quick. Nah, my 16 AC was gonna work. ATTACK! Uh, is this the one that was holding the action, or one that just ran up? The one that just ran up on you. Okay, so I st I'm still waiting on Warrior 1 to also dig in, now that they can get sneak attack. I guess this is a simultaneous attack, if there's something you're trying to no. do, because they're attacking you together. No, I don't have anything. Okay! Stab his ass. <laughs> Uh, Volfilnir, you take 12 damage. I take 12 damage. Fantastic. Okay. And then warrior number one! I need you to stab him for me. Stab him right in the chest. Oh, whoops. Reroll. Yes! Right in the chest. Oh, did you use the previous modifier instead of the edited one? Oh, uh, no, I didn't toggle advantage to counteract the fact that he oh. he's not blinded. Yeah. Well, he's blinded, but it doesn't work because you're within 10 feet of him. Yes. Uh, I guess aware that you are annoying, he will move to the side. Uh, Valfulnir, you take an additional 11 damage. Cool. Warrior number three! Oh god. Seeing that... The stabs did not do as much to Bink that they should have done. Oh, but they're rogues. Damn. He's just going to be annoying and get away with it. It's <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing. <laughs> it's my favorite. Oh, wait! No! They're assassins! Baltric isn't raging yet. This is the only opportunity we have to get a good stab on Baldrick. Oh, they're ahead of Baldrick? <gasps> you wouldn't <laughs> they're dare! They're ahead of Baldrick in the initiative order. Let me suppress Sunbeam real quick. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, Baldrick! Hello. I'm stabbing you. Warble, 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 warble. We have advantage! You are not surprised, so I can't get a critical hit. Why did I not roll at advantage? Oh! I will stone snare instead. A bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Ah, fuck it. I'll deal with it on the back end. Oh, critical hit, yeah. Nah, it's fine. I'll just deal with it on the back half. We'll just ignore the second d12, and then I'll account for it. Wait. Oh, okay. Because the way yeah, the, it, it doubles it all dice, even the negative yeah. dice. Okay. Um, I'd like to use my reaction to negate the critical hit. Why? Why? <laughs> Let me <laughs> fucking stab him! <laughs> the DM is like, so why do you do this to me? <laughs> uh, I'll kill me first, then. No, you don't have to... 
to. You don't have to. Oh, he has to roll. I have to, to, make, I have to, to zone out. I have to zone out the critical hit. Oh. Because okay. that works in the back end. Ah, got it. Yeah, I'm missing. Yeah, roll that damage. That's gonna be oh. negated. Oh well, I. Stones oh, and bullets. I mean, normally I target Baldrick and do that, but okay. Well, it's easier because I would rather just zone the critical hit out. Got so it. that the stone's endurance works normally. Got it. Because it's go. also going to ignore... It would It would cancel both of them. I mean, it would have been fine. It would have canceled both of them, I think. All right. But I wanted to make sure his stone's endurance worked properly. Okay. God, it's so fucking aggravated. Should have been there. I could have demolished Baldrick. I could have, could have known that without the both of you throwing reactions out there. Aldrich, what is your constitution modifier now? Is it only... I feel like your stone's endurance was wrong. Uh, oh yeah, it is a, it is a five. Alright, reduce your wound by one. Okay. I'll change that now. Damn it all to heck! Baldrick, you're up. Let me just give me one second here. Modify Stone's Endurance to minus five. Okay, mark that as used. Okay. Um, who's this on me here? Three? Okay. Let me go reckless. Yes. <laughs> Bunk. Um, I guess I'll reduce the last hit because they're worried about crit. I'm gonna take five from them on that one, and I'll just pivot around them. 89. Okay. Alright, tap the button when you're done. Aduna. Oh. They're all blinded and shit. 5, 10, 15. Oh, sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20. Beep. 20 feet. Am I flying? Are they flying? Fuck. No. Oh, it might be a weird sizing issue with this map. Let me see. Okay. Distance multiplier... One? Oh, God. <laughs> I think it needs to be five. Oh, weird. I don't know why... Uh... Going close is making it calculate weird. Whatever, I'm gonna just, I'm just, I'm gonna just go. Uh, we're gonna shove them. God damn it! Ah, fuck you. <laughs> I should have had my storm active for that. A mistake. Well, you don't know what else is gonna happen today. <laughs> well, I just need short rest to to fix those features. As if you have a guarantee <laughs> short rest coming. <laughs> the it's confidence fine. of I'm it's gonna short fine. rest. It's fine, I'm just gonna hit them. Oh, hold on. Uh the you should not have advantage. Cause they, oh, why did they, they can advantage? see you. I've blinded the effect is on oh. you, but you're in melee and they can see you. Oh my god, this well hindsight thing is irritating. You want me to just remove it? Mm. Like we're a melee combative party. Just roll a d20 real quick for me, Ducky. Okay. Alright, the attack goes through. We need to worry about it. <laughs> you pushed! Five. Oh, is it oh big five, question for five, you. Five. Are you dealing non lethal damage against the. Yes. Uh, it's okay. their, their staff. I'm not going to kill them. Yeah, we don't have, okay. we don't have the, uh, the necklace to, to do it for us. 30. Uh, we'll have um, the boots of speed bonus action. Uh, 35, 40. Another blade warrior. One second. Okay. Oh my god. Because they're only blinded at range right now, basically. Yeah. I don't. Uh, can you. 
you just split your attack action with a bonus action. I think your turn is over. Oh, I meant to do the. I should have done the BA earlier, but that's fine. I can always I'll, it. I'll let her have it. Okay. I just don't but as it. a reminder, you <laughs> cannot use your bonus yeah. action in the middle of an yeah. action. I, yeah. I don't want it to hurt us later when one of Go us ahead. remembers. Aduna is smarter than I am. <laughs> Wiggles. <laughs> we're not gonna Ball action surge. I wanted near. to, but I'm not. All right, we're gonna walk 30 feet over here. Gonna stand next to my buddies, and we're gonna open up with an attack against Butterfly Blade Warrior Two. Okay. So we're just gonna swing. Um, we'll burn a third level spell for a third level smite. Just gonna put smite level three, and we're going to roll some damage. I'm probably gonna use their reaction on that one, reducing that by sixteen. What is that? That's one? that's why. So down to eighty-four minus sixteen is sixty-eight. Okay. All right, and then uh, with my second attack, I'm going to let out a roar of dragon fear, um, targeting these two. Okay, they are both uh, frightened since they both failed, and that lasts until um, they can repeat the saving throw if they take any damage. Okay. And that's my turn. Minerva is just sitting and enjoying her snacks. <laughs> Bink! I want to blast them again, but I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> um... I suppose if that is a concern, there are healers in general nearby. Yeah, so, well, you don't necessarily I, need to be worried about both, that. Both, both as a player and my character would not intentionally like. They are resilient like PC, so they do make death saves. They don't just die instantly when they hit zero. Hey, that mechanic is good to know. I do not feel as bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. I appreciate. Thank you, Sarge. Uh, I don't want to take an attack of opportunity from, from these guys. Um, Neither of them has a reaction available yet. Oh, do they both use uh, their? The one lower, the southern one, held an action to attack you. The other one just used uh, uncanny dodge. I will move through Duna's space, move down to here. Can I get a line that doesn't hit Volthanir through the two of them? I mean, yeah, no, you could get it from, like, like you can get, like, as long as it covers them, you get both of them. Right, yeah. They're subject to the effect if it passes through them. Awesome. Uh, here is save. And here is the damage roll. That's my action. Um, I used one, two, three, four. I used one, uh, I have ten left. Um, I am going to bonus action free Misty Step away from them so they do not know where okay. I am. So my spell was already active. I'm using a separate spell this turn. So I'm going to go to six. I'm going to hop to here. And that's my free use okay. of Misty Step. And that's my turn. Butterfly Warrior number one is not having a good time. They are... Did you damage them? 
I, they did. They did. both need to make a a save versus your fear. Yeah, they both. Okay, I'll do that real quick. Sorry about that. Um, no worries. Here you go. Um, they're still both frightened. Julio. That's an interesting set of circumstances. They are. They cannot move closer to the source of their fear. But they only are subject to the frightened condition if they can see the source of their fear. Are they blinded? They are. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Does blind? What does blind sense say? What is blind sense? Is, I'm treating it to behave similar to blind sight, so they're subject to the frightened condition as long as they're within ten feet of you. <laughs> yeah, as long as they can perceive okay. you. That's hilarious. Oh boy. Let's see. All right. Well. One, two, three, four. Well, at least uh, yeah, Five, I don't know. I don't know. Doing this reaction right now. Hold attack. Such a weird set of rules interactions. God, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna make an attack of opportunity. That's uh, okay. I'll use my cunning action to disengage. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, you've you've removed the, their bonus action. Hey, okay, we'll take it. <laughs> And then, oh, these guys get multi-attack? What? I should have stabbed you twice last. Whatever. Never mind. I'm <laughs> sort of making them roguelike. It's fine. It's time to stab the big boy again. Make him regret being born. Cool. Hey. Stab him. Stab him in the face. Oh, yeah, I would have had advantage because you went reckless. I'm rolling again. Where did my lack of advantage come from? Uh, you blinded. Blinded. <laughs> Frightened. <laughs> All right. Um, Come on, bitch! I'll turn off gonna, the frightens since no, they're. I'm just gonna roll it again. Oh, well, he wouldn't have had that. Oh, whatever. I'll just take that as the roll. Die, Biggles. Oh. Oh no! They're coming after me. <laughs> that was the most damage that Baldrick's taken in a fight. The <laughs> whole game. <laughs> Not really, but... Nowadays, yes! You know, it's pretty I've, close. I've never seen Baldrick bloody in... <laughs> well, not. Somewhere. Somewhere on the Sword Coast. <laughs> At the Stonehill Inn. <laughs> A scrying sensor showing this battle <laughs> is greeted by the sound of the whole crowd gasping as Baldrick visibly bleeds for the first time on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Droop panics, throws a piece of fruit mm -hmm. at the scrying sensor, and <laughs> passes through it. <laughs> Turn it off! <laughs> Terminus hits him on the head. You can mess with Dahlia's spell. Cut that shit out. <laughs> oh my god. I can't bear to watch. Alright, uh, guys down. Ducky knocked him out, so no roll. Baldrick? Oh, hello, lovelies. We'll go after you first. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, how much damage did you do? Exceeds by three? Oh, I guess I have to. Mm, he's got to force you to burn the attack. Uh, so he's at 101 damage. He's going to have to use Uncanny Dodge to stay conscious. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so warrior two is still up. Yeah, you did fourteen. Oh my god. If he had 14 damage exceeded by 3, 105 minus 11 is... 94. 94. And then he would have taken 7 damage. Yeah, it was 101. God, I'm not stupid. Okay! Okay. Wait, why did it... Damn, Baldrick. It still had the... Dead effect on him? Because I... Oh, I was fine. It's no, fine. You went reckless, he would have gone down. So he, that's why he had... Yeah. Nah, it's fine. He would have gone down. It's okay. You, I think you went reckless anyway. It's yeah, cool. I did. Okay. That is accomplished. You turn around. Your bonus action. That guy does not have a reaction, because he was holding his attack. For a sneak attack. And I'll do the same little maneuver. Oh, you said your bonus action, I think. Demo, that was his, no, his, I, his I, I did two swings. Oh, right, 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 because he had to eat it. Oh, Lord. This one. Yeah, welcome. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and the doubt. <laughs> and that will do it for the... Butterfly Blade Bodyguard Team. Uh, as the fight ends, uh, one of the healers walks out forward and presents her holy symbol, and it washes over these guards. Their wounds heal and close up immediately. <clears throat> if, if, they they have, all... if they have a low roll, uh, I'll use a sorcery point to re-roll. It's a life cleric. There's no rule. Oh. Fair. <laughs> uh, qu quite the battle. <clears throat> they all stand. They sheathe their blades together and bow to the four of you before returning to their station near the Empress. One of them is limping a little bit. <laughs> One of them looks a little singed. <laughs> uh, there is respectful applause from the other teams, and uh, the Empress nods again approvingly towards you. You all earned two additional uh, Empress points for not only being willing to face her guards, but you are also capable of defeating them. Hooray! <laughs> That's a double win. All right, delete from tracker. Delete only foes. Congratulations, homies. Why do I keep getting notifications? Holy shit! Uh, it Bink, is Bink will Leave walk over to Baldrick and pat him on the shoulder and say, "Sorry, I can't make you whole." Uh, I uh. I kind of used that ability to try to blind them. It didn't seem to work. Who are you talking to? Baldrick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't. He's 71 damage. 70 damage is what I could do with heal. <laughs> but I can't because I don't have a spell slot in that level. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I'm sure we'll get a nice little reprieve sometime soon. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a short rest. He looks along the <laughs> way. <laughs> looks along near the camera. <laughs> Broadly. Uh, uh, I don't know what the general rates are on cleric casting. Because there are healers around. You might be able to pay for healing. I will allow you to pay 100 gold per spell level. Okay. Well, that seems cheap. What is this? You, you? That seems cheap. What is this? The U.S. healthcare system? Mm -hmm. Well, a you can pay single, like a potion that does the equivalent of level one is fifty. If you make it, let's see. Uh, you can pay five hundred gold per spell level for healing for your party. I guess well, that's also expensive. Mm -hmm. I'll come up with some sort of agreement here. 
If you would like to request healing of some sort, request it and then I will give you a rate. And I'll see yeah. what vibe feels appropriate. Uh-huh. Po potion maker. <laughs> um, you can't handle my strongest potions. <laughs> I demand your strongest healing potion. Uh, Whatever the price. Uh, I'd say for like a third level cure wounds, you can pay like 500 gold. Okay. All right, Jazzy, just go ahead and cast the third level cure wounds on Baldric. Can do that. Third level. Plus a uh, life cleric's bonus, whatever that might be. Oh, right. Uh, it's two plus three so far. So 47 wounds for Baldrick. Okay! A half hour after the first exhibition match, Hao Jin announces the next part of the night's entertainment. With another flourish of her hand, the quadrants of the courtyard magically transform into different terrain. Use your imagination. The northwest quadrant grows into a towering spire of earth. The northwest... Oh, I'm sorry. The northwest quadrant grows into a towering spire of earth. The northeast, the northeast quadrant collapses into a pool of lava... The southwest quadrant is consumed by a thick layer of ice, and the southeast quadrant sinks into a pit of quicksand. Hao Jin challenges two teams to simultaneously cross the transformed quadrants. One team member per quadrant. The first team to have each team member cross their quadrant wins. Yes. Oh boy. Arms of Balance rises to this challenge. I mean, we can't we can't hold back Aduna, so <laughs> there's nobody to fight here, though. So I don't know if Aduna's like we must go. <laughs> oh no, I can use my um. I mean, I'm gonna go. It's a it's a it's a physical prowess, prowess challenge. Well, I just can, uh, I, can, I can do the just the, the flying the one that would be best for flying. Oh yeah. Do we have any prep time for this? Uh, like normal, like one round prep. Uh, what, what, what's oil is slipperiness? Is that like 10 minutes? Uh, it takes a while. The application oh, yeah. is, is long. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. It's kind of like a, a skill challenge scenario more than anything. I have, I was going to say, I can turn on my storm rune. Um, if it's round based, and I can use that to help me on all my checks. All right. So to well, the we... northwest, you have. <laughs> northwest turns into a spire of earth, so that's going to be. Spire of heaven. Oh, that's fun. Let's see, the northeast one transformed into molten lava. The southwest turned into ice, so that's the frozen pool. And the southeast, by order of elimination, must be the quicksand pit. All right, so move to the quadrant that you would like to solve. So you said northeast is lava? Uh, yes. Is it just a pool of lava that you have to tra uh, traverse? There is a series of checks. Uh, it looks like it's a jumping one and a toughness one. I would say either Aduna or myself should go for that one. Well, one of the two of you can walk on water. Is one of you water. resistant to fire? Uh, no, but we have a potion of fire resistance in our inventory. Yeah, you're resistant you're to resistant fire now. You have a frost brand. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. All right, so move to the the northeast, Baldrick. If you want to do the lava one. Okay, who wants to do the climb the spire one? Spire of heaven. It looks to be 
Oh, and it looks like you have to do a bunch of climbing, and then you have to dodge rocks. Um, so, well, I'm going to get hit in the face with the rocks, but I can climb. <laughs> oh, that, that is totally acceptable if you now you have to just you just have to get to the top of the spire. Let's right, see. The southwest you know, one is a frozen pool. Looks like you have to make acrobatics checks. Oh god. And you oh, can maybe no. use your eyes to give yourself a good chance to not get fucked. And if you get fucked, you get cold damage. Ooh. And potentially exhaustion. Oh, that's <laughs> fun. Damn. Okay. Yeah, quick Man, if only, if only I. Oh, great. Quick you can take. You can still speak up and take the cold one if you want. I though. mean, that's the thing, though. Acrobatics. I have the acrobatics of a rock, so. <laughs> no, nope, it's it's the quicksand. Well, you have to do acrobatics. Who's got acrobatics? I think Baldrick's Me. the only person resembling acrobatics. <laughs> Actually, Maybe. I don't have acrobatics anymore. I don't have. I have. Yeah, but I mean, two, you have the highest have dexterity in the party. I think yeah. with plus two. Mm -mm. What is the quicksand one? Oh, the quicksand one is another acrobatics check. But Whoa. oh, right. but you can Cat swim traces. through the quicksand. I can athletics through it. That's fine. You can swim through the quicksand. I've got athletics. It's I'm, I'm fine with using athletics. It's the acrobatics bullshit that I can't do. So is the quicksand bottom left? Quicksand's on the right. Okay, I couldn't tell the, the notes or asking me to load a module I can't see. Oh, yeah. I, those, those are for me, so we I get can... The, we get the one... I know what they are. Prep, Sarge. I upcast Enhance Ability so that Voltanir and I have Cat's Grace. Thanks, friend. That's, we, okay. We, we have advantage on our athletics checks. That's the best I can Cat's do. Grace is acrobatics. Yeah, cast grace. Okay. Good. Let's see. Each terrain requires a different set of checks to overcome. How gen challenge requires the team to complete each hazard. However, only one person from each team needs to come overcome each obstacle. Of course, competing teams are permitted to obstruct one another by combat if desired. <laughs> so as long as the interference is non-lethal. Well, that's fun. Let's see who's on arms of balance. Arms of balance! We're going to take our bio break here. We'll be that back in uh, 11, to 15, 11 to 14 minutes. So at the 20 or 25 mark, whenever a new one's back. Okay. Oh, it's Team Monks. I'll oh, get fucked. No! Okay, I need to move these and then target us both again. So something like Sarge, are you still here? Mm -hmm. Did you say that we were potentially ending earlier than uh, the normal 4 o'clock time? Uh, probably. As soon as we get through all the relevant challenges before the one that is super intense, uh, we are going to stop there because I want Bant here for that one. Okay, gotcha. So you've got two challenges left. I suspect That's we'll get cool. through the skill challenges one quickly. And then there is a battle one that Aduna is probably going to force you all to just participate in. <laughs> <laughs> There's a battle, yes! I think, particularly because of what you're facing, Aduna's gonna be like Thor in that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> in Thor <laughs> Ragnarok. <laughs> yes! I did not play D and D to be afraid. <laughs> That's a neat little item. I wish I had that thing right handed in. All right, so who again noises? I'm turning you off. <laughs> Is that what we're listening to? Okay.
Yeah, it's from Ghost of Saltmarsh. 